little tour of my garden. If it's running, yeah, it's running. Here it is, hole. It used to be a fuchsia here, but some idiot took it. Here's a plant I found dead. Well, you know, has been living for years now. I took off a little piece here that's making roots now and will be planted there. And there'll be a new uh, shoot here, probably next spring. Another little shoot I took from a plant that's long dead. With thyme that I've eaten quite a lot of and is having a hard time to survive. My incredible tomato plant. Can you believe it? Just a few tiny seeds. These are the flowers and they turn into these amazing treasures of tomatoes. And I've just eaten the first few this week. Look at all these ripening. How grand is that? And I've pruned it quite a lot. My two little purple flowered doorposts. Two years old. Bought for one euro, no, one fifty when they weren't flowering but they flower from early spring to late fall oh there's a cat growing in the garden hi Spooky hi Spooky 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 no oregano which I've also eaten a lot of another plant I found dead just these two or three dead stalks. Now look at it, all these new shoots. It's coming along and it's made a seed. One flower and one probably collection of seeds. We'll plant that next spring. Curious. Look at these. All these little flowers. And they keep coming, they keep coming, 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 coming. So many, all the time. Can't help but put these little toys in. Okay, so here's where it started with the cacti. Walking the cacti, giving them some extra sun. And they've grown immensely this summer. This is all from this summer, this whole part. So is this part. This one's new, it had one flower from last year, and this one's even newer. Here's another plant I found dead, but has been making a few branches. It needs the forest patrol. <laughs> Here's some more tomatoes, 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 all just planted from, uh, this one is growing all the way through it. Isn't that cool? Planted from, uh, from seeds from a tomato, which the neighbor gave me. Here's my parsley, which I've also eaten a lot of. And sown myself. My little second fuchsia, the scrawny one. Not the most scrawny one, the most scrawny one that was growing marvelously had has been stolen, but plant guy has sold me this one for one euro, and it's coming along fine. Probably will keep them to next year. A pineapple, the top of a pineapple that I've made, put in water to shoot roots, and it shot roots, which barely ever succeeds, but if it does, you get this great plant. Here's the top half of that one. 
which will be planted alongside real soon. So it'll be somewhat bigger. Look at that. I love it when that happens. Careful now. A flightig liesje or impatience. The most purple plant ever. Another plant. The great thing about it, my plant guy is he sells plants that stopped flowering but will flower again for crazy cheap prices and he knows by now I'll always be along to buy those other plant people throw them away plant traders I mean Capsuiotje second flowering this year Geranium also second flowering this year there's some more coming somewhere Another plant I found dead, just three stalks and a few little green spots and now look at it, I love it, it's one year old, yet another dead plant, <laughs> it doesn't like the sun so that's why it's right here, right now, because all these little, little new leaves started burning once they came out. But for that stock, it's pretty much alive, isn't it? Next year will it be a, a great plant. There's a pumpkin. It should have had some water somewhat earlier today, but it'll come around again in an hour. A shoot from Stepma that turns into a plant but grows very slowly and the two little plants the little seedlings from from neighbor boy and the shoot that I was rooting that he asked if he could plant in half and I said he could have it and now it's producing a new uh, well it's thriving and it will be great ne next year he can take it home as soon as it gets really wintry. Yet another last part of a dead plant that I rooted and is doing great. Needs a bigger pot. Another dead plant. <laughs> and this, well, the rabbit discovered it, as you can see. This is supposed to be, I think, a melon seed that the neighbor gave me as well. He's planting all these seeds from food. He's got the whole balcony. He he's usually knows when when a new flower or bud is in my flowers and plants before I do and tells me, oh, here's another one that n needs water really bad. We'll give it right now. Look at this a giant plant from a seed grow it just to get these tiny tiny flowers well it's nice oh another dead plant I found this will keep over to next year and here's the beautiful rose that has bloomed and will probably not bloom again this year well surely but will next year and well whatever this is <laughs> it's all green and it's all sweet oh here's another bit of uh, of this plant, a leaf you put on the ground and then it grows a new, uh, a new plant. This, this one will uh, bloom next year, for sure.